It's week seven of the NFL, and this one features Josh Jacobs, your standard at running back this season, pacing the league in rushing. It's the Packers and the Texans. All that and more coming up next. It's the only fan-owned franchise here in the NFL. And tens of thousands of those fans have their cheese heads on and have filled the stands of historic Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Joined by a former NFL quarterback, I'll be in the booth, Mr. Brock Hewitt. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine and that effort's contagious this entire offense is getting a boost as he busts those tackles and he's got a decent game before being brought down we get a look at his rushing numbers from last week here what he was able to do in support of that win give him around six that's going to make it second and four supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. And they'll stand him up and sit him down at the line. He didn't get anything on that run, so struggles on the ground, leaving them with third and long. Six coming up here. They send the tight end in motion left. changes the whole complexion of the drive. We now set up beautifully in enemy territory. Situations. You're going to 
take the risk of throwing that route. I'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gain. shot, I would guess, down the line. They'll come up first and ten. Go! <laughs> Off the play fake, he's going to throw. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. Cut by Jacob. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. <laughs> Well, this certainly has been a memorable contest for him. His coaches, man, they're going to take this kind of output every single game. This goes a little beyond the expectations they have for him, maybe even for himself. What impresses me so much, Kate, guy just doesn't tire, getting stronger, literally, as this game's going on. And he's brought down after a short game. And then it's a single yard that time. They're going to have to solve third down and four. Here's Love. Complete beyond the And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. He picks up 15 on the play. And that's good for a Green Bay first down. And off running right, Jacob. That's good yards there with a new set of downs to boot. This dude was just not going to be stopped. shot before this crew could finally get this piece down. Going run again with Jacobs. And tough sledding for him. Only room to get it to the 30. Only two yards and it brings up second and eight. Tackle for a short game. 
a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Now he'll throw off the play fake. from his regularly scheduled programming of pass coverage duties to see him adding a little contribution in the run support. And his teammates, you can just see the body language. A little nod, a little grin. They'll welcome the reinforcements every time. on first down. Throw left side, complete. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Now hang on, looks like somebody came out after that play, a little okay, shaken ready. up. Not sure we saw exactly what happened, but he'll get some assistance now. Here he goes on the bootleg. conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. He's on the move. He just throws this one away. Look at the coverage on that play, Kate. I love that. That is textbook defense right there. When the quarterback escapes the pocket, I mean, you got to find somebody. you got to go get sticky on your offensive guy. That's exactly what the secondary did, and it forces the throw away. Second and ten now. He had it for a moment. Great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. timeouts and the two minute warning left for him we've got first and ten Second down now, seven to go. Here we go, set! <laughs> That's complete to Musgrave. And he's at the line. The game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. All right, here we go. Second down. To throw. No work on the 
action. It's incomplete. Jaden Reed, the intended target. So now it's going to be third and long. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who could close quickly to get to him before it's released. Wow. And sure to the throw. That play's brought to a halt. They're going to save at the five-yard line. And even 20 yards on the play, and it awards them with a first and goal. on first and goal. You keep it safe. You push a little closer. And now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Go. They stick with Jacobs. <laughs> and he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of 